Hello, boys and girls. Today we're finding the area of a trapezoid. So let's get started. I'm gonna start you off with my notes here. And you also have these notes if you're in my class. Um, okay, so it all starts with um, the area of a parallelogram. And I always like to go back to that, to that for triangles and trapezoids as well. What is the area of a parallelogram? And the area of a parallelogram is area equals base times height. And so we think of triangles um, in relationship to the area of a parallelogram. And then we also think of trapezoids in, the, in relationship to the area of a parallelogram. And so what we, what we wanna do is we wanna turn a trapezoid into a parallelogram so that we can just simply use area equals base times height. Um, and you can take these notes and copy them. You can pause if you'd like to. I'd like to start here because I have my notes in color and I don't have highlighters with me. Um, and you can also go to the e-tool at cpm.org slash technology, okay? And that'll help you see it too. So finding the area of a trapezoid. A trapezoid looks like this. A trapezoid has two sides that are opposite each other that are parallel, but not necessarily the same length, and then two sides that are not parallel, opposite sides that are not parallel. And so what we wanna do here is we want to turn it into a parallelogram, or yeah, a parallelogram. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this in half, Forgot that I would need my scissors again. But go ahead and fold this in half this way. Hamburger style. Okay. And then you've got to cut it. Cut it in half. Okay. So now what you're going to do is Oops, I had turned it over. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're actually going to pick this pivot point here and I've put a dot right there, your pivot point, and you're going to pivot this. If you remember from friends, Ross said pivot. Pivot this down to right here. And now you have yourself a parallelogram. Two parallel sides, two parallel sides. Okay, so now we have to think about how we're going to measure this, okay? So what you have to do is you have to think about the fact that your original top base, in this case, is four units. Well, where is that top base going to be now? I wish I had a green highlighter and I would highlight this right here to be green. Well, when you pivot it and you rotate it down, now this top base is down here. So it's part of the bottom base. So you've got to add the original base, which was the bottom base, which was six units, and you've got to add four units. So now your base of your parallelogram is 10 units. Now the height of this figure was four units, but you've split it in half. And so what's half of four? Two. So now you're just gonna use area equals base times height because remember it is a parallelogram now. So the area is 10, right? Six plus four is 10 times the new height, which is half of the original height of the trapezoid, which is two. 10 times two is 20 units squared. And that is the way the area of a parallelogram works. Oh, sorry, the area of a trapezoid works. You're making it a parallelogram. Here's another example that we did in class. Okay, so I'll explain this one too. So this trapezoid here, this is what we started with. This trapezoid has a bottom base of 12 units and a top base of five units. It has a height of eight units. 
and we fold it in half and so you can literally cut it out if you want trace it and cut it out fold it in half and do it that way or you can draw a picture on your paper um, and so if we fold it and cut it in half we would cut it right down the middle right here then we're gonna this is the rotating point the pivot point so now we're gonna rotate this down so this top this top base is now part of the bottom base so we've got to add the bottom base 12 units plus the top base 5 units which is 17 units so of our parallelogram the base is 17 units and then what's the new height? Now that we've cut it in half, it's half the height of eight. Half the height of eight is four units. And then we just use the formula area equals base times height because now it's a parallelogram, you see? So area base, the base is 17 units. And the height is four units. And I recommend that you label all of this before you put it into the formula. So label this the half height, which is four, and then the full base, which is the bottom base plus the top base, once you've rotated it. Okay, um, we might have a, we might have time for one more here. And here's an example. Oops, I moved everything, sorry about that. Let's see if we have time. All right, we have a top base of eight units or eight inches and a bottom base of 12 inches. We're pretending these are parallel. Well, as I'm drawing this, I'm realizing these aren't exactly parallel, but we're, we're pretending they are. 12 inches and a height of four inches. Okay. So we're gonna cut this in half. We're gonna rotate it on this pivot point so that eight inches is now down here on the bottom. And then these two lines are gonna be parallel, this one and this one, okay? And so now our new height from here to here, it's not four inches anymore, it is two inches, it's half the height. So now we're going to use area equals base times height. 12 inches plus eight inches is 20 inches. Okay, so the new base is 20 times the new height, which is two. That is going to equal 40 inches squared. And that is it.